A rival Paleoanthropology Channel host recently made a series of blunders. This is the fourth video Erica Gutsick Gibbon has made in two years attacking rival anthropologist and YouTube science communicator Robert Sepper. Both Robert and Erica have monster sized audiences. Erica recently passed over 100,000 YouTube subscribers. Her top video from two years ago, Attacking Christians, garnered nearly 600,000 views. Sepper has 445,000 subscribers. Three of his videos have over 1 million views, including one at 2.4 million. Sepper is a graduate of the University of California, Northridge. Erica does not list her university credentials, but she claims to be working on a PhD. In past videos attacking Sepper, Erica has made some major mistakes. In one video from 2023, Erica attacked Sepper as a racist for using the term hybridized humans in regards to archaic hominid DNA admixture. Erica, quote, Southeast Asians can have up to 12% Denisovan DNA, and what Robert loves to bring up is that you have African individuals that can have up to 19% ghost hominid lineage, end quote. Sepper was citing a 2020 paper by two UCLA geneticists who found up to 19% archaic hominid DNA admixture in Africans. Except the highest recorded archaic hominid DNA outside of Africa is in the Eta Mabukan tribe from the Philippines at 7.8%, not 12% as Erica states. Additionally, they are Melanesians, not Asians. But there's more. In a 2023 video, Erica stated that Homo the Lady had gone extinct by 700,000 years ago. Quote, to around 700,000 years ago, most hominids that are not genus Homo have gone extinct. We no longer see things like Australopithecus or Homo naledi, end quote. Dates for Homo naledi, 335,000 years ago to 236,000 years ago. Her latest video, published late February 2024, has nearly 50,000 views. The video contains multiple errors, some minor, but two very major errors on basic dating of hominid species, which we will focus on with this video. But first we should mention that there was very likely a third major blunder that has been edited out. Erica responded to a query from this channel shortly after the video came out. We tweeted to Erica, there are two huge dating mistakes. She replied, Nah, if it's what I think it is. Lip syncing like a 1990s pop star. At the 56 minute mark, Erica goes full Milli Vanilli. Her lips are moving, but the voiceover doesn't match her words. That is a clear indication that she had her editors go back after the video was published and deleted a section which is pretty much what she admits to us in her tweet. tweet. Mistake number one. The Omo One skull was discovered by Richard Leakey's team in Ethiopia in 1967. The skull is from a Homo sapien. It is dated to 230,000 years. The redating of Omo One to 230,000 years ago was all over the news in 2022. All the top paleoanthropologists agree Homo 1 is the first undisputed representative of Homo sapiens. 39 minutes in, quote, at 150,000 to 200,000 years ago, we have the Homo kibish specimens, end quote. Erica was off by 80,000 years. Mistake number two. At 57 minutes in, quote, Homo habilis is likely 3.8 million years old if we take the mandible from Lady Guerrero as being Homo habilis, end quote. 
The Lady Guerrero mandible is 2.8 million years old, not 3.8 million. Will these screw-ups prove damaging to her career? All-time biggest screw-ups of paleoanthropology. There have been an abundance of gigantic flubs in paleoanthropology in the last 160 years. The most famous is probably the Piltdown Man hoax. Sir Arthur Keith, the Dean of the London Royal Anthropological Society, nearly went to his grave believing that he and his brethren had discovered the missing link with Piltdown. When in reality, all they had found was a brown stained skull cap of a medieval era man and a brown stained jawbone of an orangutan. It was later determined to be an elaborate hoax. The great Louis Leakey, at the very start of his fossil hunting career, had forgotten to mark the sites of critical finds of hominid bones at Olduvai. The best he could produce as evidence was a crumpled up photograph of the site. The flub nearly destroyed his career. Lee Berger for three years used outdated NASA satellite images to locate caves in South Africa. He spent tens of thousands of dollars of National Geographic funds before he realized the error. However, these chiseled professional paleoanthropologists had a bevy of fossil finds to their names. Erica's only claim to fame is having found a handful of monkey bones on a summer break safari trip to Kenya. And although she's quick to question others' academic credentials, her own credentials cannot be verified. It is assumed, of course, she does have at least a high school education. Hawking bad paleoanthropology on social media? It could be lucrative. Factual errors in paleoanthropology don't seem to bother her legions of fans. But more importantly, her handlers are no doubt quite pleased. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and pass this video on to others. We will have a video coming up shortly on OMO 1. Bienvenido a todos de ustedes. Mucho gusto en conocerte. Hasta la próxima vez. Nos vemos. Bienvenuti a tutte le persone. Molte piacere. Andiamoci. Bonjour. Je suis ravi de votre connaissance. A la prochaine fois. Allons-y.